All right, here's a video on our 2003 BMW M5. Um, the video that you're actually going to see here is ahead of its time. The, the vehicle actually hasn't gone through cleanup, so it was clean enough when the car came in. We really didn't need to do a whole lot to it. I can kind of display it and show it off here. It's a little bit windy today, so I hope it doesn't come through too bad on the camera. Um, but if you've done any research on the M5s, they're, um, they really take every element of BMW engineering and put it to the physical level that they can offer that. So, 394 horsepower V8. Um, it's very high revving RPM range, so it's uh, kind of true F1 styling. Low displacement, lots of high revving RPMs, and lots of high end horsepower. And that's also made it to a six speed manual transmission. And uh, when you're actually building these vehicles from new, not in an inexpensive car. Uh, this is a last generation of this, this body style, a 2003. And it was uh, discontinued, the 2004s came out in the newer chassis. So uh, a lot of people still uh, prefer this body style because it was traditional BMW styling. And unmistakably a car, when you saw it going down the road, you knew it was a BMW. Um, it does have the upgraded alloy wheel package that are kind of a gunmetal gray color. This is an offset staggered sides. You're going to have narrower on the front and wider on the rear. But those uh, have kind of a deep dish you'll see to their rear wheels there. And it's also kind of a powder coated gunmetal, uh, kind of an off tinting gray color, which is good for not showing off the brake dust with these high performance brakes the car has. Um, park distance control on the front and rear bumpers. Headlights assembly has glowing halo angel eyes as well as bi xenon, so high beam and low beam with fog lights down below, as well as headlight washers, which you can see right there. So I'll just kind of give you a bit of a better idea of the vehicle. From the rear, coming around to the side, has the little 3M lip spoiler on the back. Nothing huge, but just enough to give it a little bit of character in the back side right here. Just finishes off the trunk deck a little bit nicer and that quad exhaust out the back, which is a dead giveaway for the M5s. Like I said, I've worked here for about seven years and I've, we haven't had a single one of these cars come through as a pre-owned vehicle. Once you open up the doors, you definitely know it's the M from the door entry sills, as well as the custom M5 mats. And uh, the leather upholstery, this is an upgraded leather on the siding here with uh, a different leather texture on the inserts, which wear differently. A little more durable. And uh, again, I just got to keep, keep in mind, you haven't seen this car going through cleanup yet. This is how it got traded in, so. Uh, lumbar support right here. You have high adjustable headrest that'll fold up and down. So you memorize that forward and back with backrest support here. Six-way adjustable base on the front and the back, as well as forward and back. And then power length extension. So if you have longer legs, this will give you the extension right underneath your legs. Gives you tons of support. Great for long distance trips. Uh, the mirrors on the side here are also folding. So you can fold them in and out. So for tight parking, which is great, or even in parking lots, things like that. Memory coated seating right here, M123, with your window adjustment. Power telescopic steering, onboard computer and signal arm. Also this has the um, brushed aluminum trim. So no wood green or anything, very clean interior. Navigation system digital dual zone climate controls, heated seats on each side, passenger and driver side, as well as park distance control, which you can turn on and off there. Dynamic stability control. Now, that's a, an upgrade traction control system that doesn't only just stop wheel spin, but actually using a yaw sensor, just like an airplane has, recorrects the path of the car coming in out of corners. Um, sport button right here, that's the fun one. <laughs> when, you, when you press that button down, it actually retards and advances the ignition timing, as well as, uh, uh, you know, sharpening up the throttle response. So you'll definitely see just driving under easy acceleration, tapping that. It's like the whole car kind of jerks into a whole different, different realm of performance. So with that off, it's much more easier to drive and soothing. Pop that sport button on and it takes on a whole different feel. Uh, right here is the fold up for the back sunshade. And back side right there. M gauges, which are all gray. And also when the vehicle starts up, you'll see the lights around the RPM gauge that actually uh, light up and show you that your red line is. So it'll actually, right now after warming up, that'll be um, right there about 67.50. But the uh, when the vehicle's cold, you'll see that come back to about 4,000. As the car sits right now, 
You've got about uh, 1,000, or I guess 100 and 1,000, 106 kilometers on the vehicle. And the steering wheel with a thick bolstering at 10 and 2 positions right here and here. And then it has the audio controls on the left, and then the cruise control features to the right. Also with the uh, navigation system and all that right here, pressing the eject button, that'll fold down. So you've got the cassette player down behind that, and then the CD changer in the back trunk. Yeah, and it is just an absolute animal for performance. Even from inside the cabin, which is the 5 Series have actually pretty decent insulation in, uh, in around the vehicle, so you don't get a lot of engine and, and exhaust feedback usually, but on this car, wow, it's just a, a whole different tune. The back side here has the uh, navigation right here as well as uh, this folds back and then you have your CD changer in below there. And the seats are also 60-40 split folding with a ski bag in the center. So this will kind of give you another bit of a walk around. Um, in Canada right now there are three of these cars for sale. So it's not, uh, not a common vehicle by any means. And again, being last generation, uh, this car has just gone completely through our service department, so things like tires, brakes, uh, even the sweating or leaking around seals, everything has to be exactly up to date on the car. Um, it actually goes through three different independent inspections, uh, so we can offer you the best possible vehicle we can. Uh, it's cheaper for us to do the reconditioning than it is for you, so the last thing I want is you coming back with squeaky brakes or, uh, or leaking a seal or something like that three or, or even six months down the road. So. I want to make sure we're offering you the best possible car we can. Uh, this is a vehicle you can purchase with confidence. It hasn't had any uh, derogatory history. It's not an American vehicle. It was purchased brand new here in Canada. And uh, the person that owned it from new really did maintain and take care of it nicely. Um, if the M5 is uh, something you've been looking at for a while too, you'll hear a lot of the reviews talking about the vehicle. It's actually a car that offers uh, more of a, a touring type feel. So you can take off and, uh, and enjoy the highway drive, nice smooth touring uh, you know, sedan and uh, you just tap that sport button and you put your pedal down and uh, you realize the true performance the car is capable of. It, is, uh, it almost encompasses every different element you're looking for, the performance driving with that comfortable drive. So have a chance to review this, it's about uh, just under 8 minutes so take a peek and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. We'll see you.